Hey friends, welcome to the Gospel of Luke, and today we're at chapter 20, verse 20. Hey, this is 2020. Let's see if it helps us see better. Let's read it. Here we go. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be righteous, that they might seize on his words in order to deliver him to the power and the authority of the governor. So remember, Jesus has entered the temple. He's teaching. They're uh, they're just they've lost their mind. They can't stand it. How could he be here? How could he be teaching? The people say, "No, you can, don't touch the guy." We're listening. They're listening intently. They challenge Jesus. They can't respond right, and so he pushes them pushes it back. And so now we come back to this deal where the, here they are, and they are now going to continue to they, they they've been defeated, but they're going to continue to do their utmost to take Jesus down. That's what they're doing. So notice their method. Their method is to watch them. I know people who have pastored in uh, university towns in, a, in certain denominations. There was kind of a divide between those who are more Bible-believing kinds and those who are more progressive, uh, to be generous and use that, that ill word, progressive. And they would actually come, some of the people who were opposed to what was happening in, in that church, they would come and send spies to hear every which thing that was said so they could find fault with it. So here we see the same thing happening. It's nothing new. It's happening to Jesus. So they send spies. And notice, they sent spies who pretended to be righteous. Okay, so, so there's people who are in the mix. They're looking for trouble, but they are falsely presenting themselves because they're not righteous. They are looking to defy the God of heaven and earth, defy his son Jesus. Notice what else as we're looking at this. Seizing on his words. And here is something that's easily done, and it's done all day long today in Twitter and on different places in the internet, taking just a slice, just a slice which does not fairly represent something that somebody says, and using that to misrepresent them. And a lot of times that's enough. People, they hear the little snippet, and they say, oh, that person must be a bad person. So, kaboom, I drop the bomb on them, okay? So that's what you have, seizing on words this wrong thing to do. Now, notice the third thing that was there. Why did they seize on his words? Why do they pretend to be righteous? Why are there spies present? In order to deliver him to the power and the authority of the governor. Many times the religious arm of things uh, will send it over and say, oh, and to the, make sure that the government does the, the persecuting, the government does the imposition, the government does the wrong thing, but it's the, it's the religious powers behind it. Okay, so there's maybe a separation of powers, but they're not separated. Behind the scenes, uh, the one is pulling the strings of the other. So this is what's going to happen. They are going to get Jesus crucified. That is their ultimate goal. They're working on it. They're at work. There's always people at work to oppose a true work of God. We need to realize that and say, you know what? God is still in control. His truth is still his truth. I will sustain and support his truth at all costs. Uh, I want to be wise. No need to unnecessarily do some things, but it's going to draw attention. It's going to draw fire when you do the right thing. You will be criticized. You will be heavily attacked. It's okay. You're standing in the same line as the prophets and the servants of God and of Jesus himself. Let's pray. Father in heaven, when we are attacked for our faith, maybe in large ways, maybe in small ways, it's just part of the territory. Lord, help us to be true and faithful to you. We're not seeking offense, but we need to be straight up and right and do what is moral and ethical and right. Help us to be true to Jesus in spite of all these things. And now this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Give us strength, Lord, and courage. We ask it. Amen. Friend, God will give you the strength and courage you need in the time of testing.